In this video, we'll be talking briefly about how to install the Classic Client only for Dynamics NAV 2009. We're going to be working with a clean machine, so we'll go ahead and jump to the DVD for your 6.0 release, in my case R2, and you'll want to run the setup that is in the root folder of the DVD. And the welcome screen comes up. And, of course, you'll need to read carefully over all the license terms. Then accept. And you're faced with a your first choice, uh, install the demo or choose your installation options. Uh, most of the time you'll be doing choose your installation option. The next screen gives you lots of different options on what components do you want to install. Nine times out of ten, I'll simply click the custom components and choose the individual pieces I require. Since we're going over the classic client in this case, there's a couple of things we'll need to look at. First of all, is your destination folder correct? In this case, that's fine. The classic client option here is not selected, so I can run from my computer, run all from my computer. I'm going to go ahead with run from my computer, not run all. I'm connecting this client to an existing database, so I don't need the demo database or the backup of the demo database. Uh, I do, however, prefer to have the help files, so I make sure to select those. And if you're using any of the other integration or notification components in 2009, you'd want to select those as appropriate. Uh, in this case, we're, we're not, so... We may now go ahead and hit next. One of the options on this screen is just confirming what you're installing. Uh, if we were installing additional features, there might be parameters we need to specify. Uh, if you're going to be installing this classic client over and over in this exact same configuration, uh, you can save this as an XML file uh, that can be used on that um, selection screen where we clicked the custom components there's an option right there to load this configuration that we're saving here and skip all the individual selections uh, we're going to go ahead and apply and with some movie magic we'll go ahead and jump right to the installation completed successfully screen uh, we'll go ahead and close that out and close our install folder and you'll now see that we've ha added a couple of options uh, to the uh, shortcut menus. Uh, here we have the Classic with SQL Server and R2 Classic. Uh, the difference between these is what sort of server you're using. Uh, if you're using 2009 and you're planning to use the Roll Taylor client in any time in the near future, you'll want to be looking at uh, moving to SQL Server if you've not already done so. Uh, at the time of the recording of this video, NAV 2013 has just been released, though many folks are still in the 2009 upgrade process. Uh, 2013 no longer supports the native database. They only support SQL, so you'll want to make that move as soon as you can. With the NAV 2009 Classic Client installed, now it's a simple matter of connecting up to the appropriate database or creating a new one. Uh, as well as any additional steps uh, that will be required for your particular environment.